Jeeva Korja. Hello, my friends, and you're very welcome back to Animal Crossing Wild World, episode 81. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, and you're very welcome back to another evening slash nighttime in home. It's 7.50, so recording in in recording an evening time episode it's almost night time we have some mail let's just uh, get rid of this first so we have mom red and the hra okay we'll take care of that in just a sec so it's been a few days since i've recorded an episode biggest update guys are you ready so if you watched the last episode cube moved out so we said goodbye to cube and somebody new moved in yesterday now i have already kind of spoken to this person not officially but it's someone that i'm so excited about someone adorable someone that i think is gonna be a permanent home resident someone that i think you're going to be excited about it's a animal that we don't have yet so that's good it's not like another penguin or another goat or another cat it's an animal type that we haven't uh i mean i can't i can't recall if we've had an animal like the same as this i can't recall if we have but so it is somebody who i think is just so cute somebody who is a very good fit for home i think their house is here and i don't know if they're home but uh let's just see if they're home Oh, they are home. Okay, are you guys ready? It's Mint! And she's so cute! I'm so excited! Phew, it's not easy being so pretty. It's hard work. I'm at my happiest when I can relax in the comfort of my own home. So what do you want to bug me about this time? Hey, Erin, which do you like better, hanging out with boys or girls? I'm gonna put it in the middle and say both. What's that? Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter in the end anyway. Sorry for asking such a dumb question. Oh no, I don't want to make her sad. Guys, Mint has moved in. I love this music, by the way. I love her home. I love her music. I love Mint so much. She is so cute. So, guys, let me know in the comments. Are you happy? I'm happy. Are you happy? Look at her. She's just so cute. I'm excited to have a new bestie. I feel like she fits in so well with me and Rosie and Nan and Portia. Like, oh my gosh, it's insane. So I am so excited to have Mint join home and she lives here right by the bridge. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Are you happy with that? I, I mean, I'm interested to know, but I kind of at the same time, I'm like, well, <laughs> doesn't matter because I love it. So... We're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be keeping mint. I know we have some weeds to pull up. I'm kind of saving them right now for, uh, I'll, I will be recording our hour long no commentary spring episodes probably next week. That's what I'm hoping. I thought it might have them done by now, but actually they should be up maybe before you even see this video. So go check them out. If you uh, haven't already, would really appreciate it. Enjoy the, the relaxing no commentary hour long videos organized by season and time of day so yeah definitely check them out if you haven't already howdy bird how's life whoa it's already seven lame i'm gonna be too old to fish in no time time just flies so yeah what did you need anyway so literally did you join the happy room academy oh my gosh i'm so annoyed with the happy room academy i talked about this in the last episode and somebody in the comments agreed with me too they were like yeah i agree it's uh it feels judgmental <laughs> I'm just, yeah, it feels very judgmental. The game is like judging your decorating skills and, you know, decorating, at least speaking for myself, decorating is not always a priority in this game. There are days when it is and there are days when it isn't. And uh, yeah, as I know, I keep talking about it. I won't be doing anything today. I don't know. Well, we'll see. I'm Maybe I'll do a little bit. I don't know. I'm not planning on it, but if it feels right, then... <laughs> I will I will do it you know what I am gonna do right now is we have our timer I'm going to actually set the timer and see okay see how it works because or like what happens when the timer goes off like what does it sound like oh we also have a little bug and fish counter that is so cool maybe I should just catch some fish actually why not how many fish can we catch in two minutes two and a half minutes almost at this point let's see uh, let's just give it a try. I'm just curious, like, is it like an alarm bell or what kind of thing happens when the timer goes off? I actually really like this. I might use this for catching fish and bugs in the future. Here we go. Here's a fish. Let's try and catch this guy. Oh, you can tell I'm rusty. 
I haven't fished in a good number of weeks, I would say. <laughs> so that sucked. The timer doesn't help, <laughs> actually. Kind of puts on a little bit of pressure now that I think of it. But I just want to see what happens. I want to see what it sounds like. What happens when we... Uh, when the timer goes off, when we set the timer, what happens? I don't know, it's probably not a big deal. I'm just kind of curious about it. So, following the river along and no sign of any fish. Here we go, here's one. Oh, I, I anticipated it too early. I thought for sure it went under. I'm definitely out of practice. <laughs> definitely out of practice, as you can see. It, uh, yeah. It's tricky. Alright, we caught a horse mackerel with the... Uh, 20 seconds on the clock. Can we catch another one in 20 seconds? Probably not. Probably not. Might be a little ambitious. Any more fish? Any more fish? Any more fish? Any more fish? Oh, this one. Ooh, that's intense. Okay. Well, we did. Ca I thought it was going to throw me off. We did catch the dab and the timer. It was like a whistle blow. Okay. Interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Here is Portia. Let's have a chat with Portia. One of our besties. Hey, lovey. So you're still crazy busy. I know you're ambitious, but don't work too hard. Okay. It makes the rest of us look bad. Ah, yes. I get it now. This must be the fusion craze. It's in the, all the tabloids. Oh, okay. Right. Was that a song? I think she was referring to a song. It looked like it was sing-songy. Kabuki was over here as well. Let's uh, let's see if he's still here. Chat with Kabuki. Here he is up here. Hey Kabuki. Hey Lily, what are you doing at this late? Keep at it and you're gonna be paying for it in the morning. So tell me, what are you doing around here anyway? You know who Nan is, right? I need you to deliver this to that animal's place for me. I want, you, I want to see you back here again soon. So you've got 10 minutes to do your task. Oh, that's quick. Okay. All right, we gotta, we gotta deliver something to Nan in 10 minutes. Good thing we're right next to her house. Oops. Good thing we're right here. So let's go. Oh, she's out. Oh no. Okay. Oh shoot. We got to find Nan quickly. And it's 8 p.m. Yay, cue my favorite music. It's been a while since I've heard my favorite music. Oh, love it. Love it. Never gets old. Here's Nan. Let's say hi to Nan and d deliver our thingy to her. Oh, hi, Lily. Can you believe it's already eight o'clock? I wish you'd stop by a little earlier so we'd have more time to talk. I'm sure you had a lot of things to do today, so sorry for being a crybaby. Delivery. Oh, cool. It's a present from Kabuki. I'm so excited. Now, this makes me happy. Heck, I can't wait. I'm going to open it now. Oh, it appears I'm getting a kitty shirt. Sure is different, but I guess it'll do... it'll do in a pinch. Make sure to thank Kabuki for me. Everyone needs exercise, even a fashion-forward lass like me knows that. In fact, taking a nice walk with a friend is all the rage right now. All right, yeah, maybe that was overdoing it a bit, but still, kid. <laughs> Did you guys see the sky just changed? It went from a purple to, like, more of a navy dark blue. That literally... I watched that change. That was quite cool. Okay, well, that was interesting. That was interesting. Just curious about the timer. We caught a couple fish that are not new, so let me get rid of the fishing rod. We have a few males... males? <laughs> we have a few, um, letters to go through. So, from Cube. This is Cube heading off, I'm sure. Oh, by the way, Aaron, hey, I when I moved out of home, I took a tile from the plaza. Was Mortimer mad? I'm nervous. Wait, it wasn't one of, one of my tiles, was it? And we have a present from Kabuki. Hey, Erin, your house smelled really good. So I'm including something that smells just like me. Smell you later. Oh, this was after our visit in the last episode. That's right. Oh, yes, from Red. That was the password for just a few days ago. I actually did um, buy... It was... What was it? It was a strange painting or it was something. Anyway, it ended up being a counterfeit. So uh, I tried to donate it and I got in trouble. So... <laughs> Okay, that was the HRA, just uh, another HRA letter. So I tossed all those that we just read. And finally, we have a letter from mom. Dear Erin, do you prefer fevers, allergic reaction reactions, broken bones or nosebleeds? Me, I'm partial to fevers. You get neat dreams. Mom. Okay. 
<laughs> Thanks, Mom. Appreciate that little uh, thought, that little wisdom nugget. Let's open Kabuki's present. It is a telescope. Oh, okay. Okay, very nice. Nice, nicely done, Kabuki. A telescope that smells like him, apparently. Let's stop into Rold just while we're passing by. Rold has a telescope too. How cute. Hey, Rold. Good evening to you. How's life? Man, I skinned my elbow and I've been picking at the scab all dang day. That's appetizing. Once I started, I just couldn't stop. What's wrong with me? The other day I met this kid named Matty. It was the weirdest thing because this kid gave off a pizza vibe face. I've heard all this uh, dialogue before. I miss Matty, actually. It's been a while since I've done a Matty episode. I should do another Matty episode soon. Just kind of... I don't know. Aaron's got all the good stuff now since we've been playing as Aaron for longer, so... Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yes, so a uh, quick bell update as well. I have 30,000 bells here. What I actually did was I, I think I made about 200,000 bells and I actually ended up putting them into our bank account here or our savings account, whatever it's called in this game. I think it's the savings actually. So I put about 200, 150,000 bells, I think, into our, uh, yes, into our savings account. So as you can see, we have 150 bells in savings, so I'm trying to think what should I... I might take out 20,000 and give it to Boondocks and just see if we, uh, see if, you know, see if we get another gift from them. We still have 130. Um, what I usually do with my bells, I do this in New Horizons as well. I don't know why I do this, I just do this, but basically I just keep, you know, earning money as I go and once I get a hundred thousand I put I de make deposits in a hundred thousand bells so that's kind of how I like build up my savings account so that's what I do in uh, New Horizons as well and that's how I manage my bells and that's how I save up so let's do 20,000 to boondocks and just see if we get any uh, exciting dialogue What? 20,000 bells? My goodness, my apologies, you shocked me a bit. They're planning to build houses in Boondocks next. Isn't that wonderful? Once built, the townsfolk will enjoy sleeping in warm adobe houses instead of the dirt piles I've been using thus far. Thanks very much. I think that's text we got before. I can't remember. I'm trying to think. Uh, nothing in the recycle bin. Okay, let's do... Will I do another 10,000? Just, just for fun. Just for fun. What's that like? I'm just gonna give 10,000 bells just for fun. <laughs> Only in Animal Crossing does that sentence sound right. <laughs> 10,000 bells, blah blah blah. Okay, we're still in the houses. Okay, so I wonder, I might have to check online and see what the next like tier is, how much we have to give for, uh, yeah, just figure that out. So I'm gonna pop into Nooks and just take a look, see what he has in there and uh, actually I think I had to give medicine to Rosie yesterday, so before I go into Nux, I'm gonna just check and see if Rosie's still sick, because we can get her some medicine if she is. Cut it out, Lily. Enough of those kidna candy store eyes. Okay, so she's all better, so that's good. Okay, we don't have to do that. I got rid of my cold, now I feel super. It's all because of your medicine, Lily. You're so crazy nice. Here's a little something for being such a nice person. A ranch couch. Ooh, a wait. Oh yeah, I, I know what that is. Okay, I think we might already have one of those, I can't remember. Okay, on the way to Nux. Elmer's the only one we haven't spoken to, right? So let's just, uh, we'll just take that box as well. Elmer, there's my Dutch shirt. Actually, it's not mine. Nan took mine, but you have the same one. I was gonna say, I want it from you. I'm all about brown furniture right now. That would be the best gift anyone could give me, hint, hint. <laughs> okay, let's see if they have any brown furniture. I still don't know if I made that distinction. Does he mean the color brown furniture or is there an actual line called brown furniture? I can't remember if I decided what that is or not. Actually, decided is the wrong word. Not decided. Um, realized? Found out? Is that what, that, is that what I meant? Mm, nothing in particular. Like, this is brown, but what is this? Is it a guillotine or something? Oh, a trunk measure. Never mind. I thought it was a guillotine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it kind of looks like one. The surfboard's cool as well, actually. Um, why did I come in here? Just to have a look, really. Um, oh, let's sell, we'll sell the two fishies as well. And I, actually, I was gonna buy some flowers, so we'll, we'll, we'll buy up the flowers too. Let's sell the fishies first. Okay, they were just 320 bells, so I'm just gonna buy up all of the, uh, flowers here and then plant them outside our house.
All right, that's done. Let's go plant these flowers. Planting flowers is one thing, well, maybe not planting them, but taking care of them is something I'm so bad at at this game, like so bad. They just die so quickly, but I, I would like to get some hybrid flowers back since I, I ended up losing a bunch of hybrid flowers, which is kind of sad. I did also have a thought. I don't know if I'll do it today. Oh, there's a cockroach on the tree. I don't know if I'll do it today or if at all. I also had a thought about making a little flower garden, which could be nice. I just don't know where I would push it. That's the only thing. And I thought I could use this path to kind of line the flower garden and just plant a bunch of flowers around and then have this path surrounding it. I don't know. I just thought it could be kind of cute. I just don't know where I would put it. It could look kind of nice at the back, but then that's kind of, you know, treading on our apple orchard. So I don't know. I don't know. Even the side could be nice. We could do it along here, but then I would have to remove some of these apple trees. So I don't know, just a thought. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, what would you think about a little flower garden surrounded in this padding in like a rectangle? Or maybe here could be kind of nice. I could move these trees. I don't know, just a thought. Anyway, for now I'm gonna plant these and I'm gonna plant them here and hopefully the fact that they're right here, it'll uh, help me remember to water them. Okay, this one went behind the tree. I cannot see it, but I love the white roses and the white pansies. They're probably some of my favorites in this game. So uh, we also have more white pansies. Um, oh no, they're not pansies. They're the pansies. <laughs> Perfect. I really like those actually. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, I'm going to water those. Oh, I wish, I wish they would stay. I wish they would stay, but I just end up neglecting them totally by accident. There's just there's just too much to maintain in this game. <laughs> and I get so sidetracked all the time. So what I have decided to do just now, I'm not gonna go full into a, like a full spring clean, but I think what I might do is just pop inside, have a quick look through the wardrobe and try and get rid of a few items to sell to Nook. I need to be ruthless. I really, really do. Anything that I genuinely don't think I wanna keep, even if it's a cool item or I kinda like it, if I actually don't think I'm gonna use it, I have to get rid of it. So I wanna check out the telescope and the ranch couch as well. I think I already own a ranch couch, but honestly, like the telescope is the perfect example of a really cool item that in theory I would like to keep, but at the same time I can't actually see it just being in a room and me enjoying it being there, if that makes sense. I don't know. And again, it's one of those things, once you own something, we can always order it again if we change our minds. So I'm kind of like not too worried about it. I'm thinking about selling the telescope. Um, just because I honestly don't see a place for it in my home at the moment. So um, we'll, we'll take a look at them anyway, but I'm going to uh, have a quick look through the closet and see if there are a few things we can get rid of and try and make some space. Like this is just a disaster. I also have a few more carpets, flooring upstairs as well to try and get rid of too. So let's look at the ranch couch. Oh, see, that's... Oh, this is my problem. I was gonna say, see, that's actually really nice. But I have a couch. That's the thing. I have my regal couch. I love my regal couch. Also, by the way, this is the shamrock. I can't remember. Did I take that off in the last episode or not? Or I think I just popped it in here in between recording, but it came out in this little page and it looks so cute. That's literally the shamrock that we had in our hair for the last ages. Okay, so I'm getting rid of the telescope. I'm getting rid of the ranch couch. Again, if I change my mind, not a big deal. We'll just reorder it. All of this stuff I do want to keep, although the writing desk, maybe thinking about getting rid of that, honestly, just taking up space and it looks very similar to the record player, honestly. So yeah. Okay. We'll sell the writing desk. Well, let me see. I've got four more spots. Okay. Let's try and get four more items. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try my best to do it. All right. So I've pulled four items, which are classic desk. Let me just take a quick look. Oh yeah, I just pulled that out. Oh yeah, that was my what I thought was the writing desk. Okay, never mind. That can go. Again, if I change my mind on any of this stuff, 
it's not a big deal. Office chair, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that. So, oops, no, don't sit on it. We're getting rid of it. Ah, office chair can go. Office desk. Yes, that's that's gone. Let's get rid of that. Ranch couch, telescope, barbecue. Look, I'm not gonna put a barbecue anywhere and the ivy wall I'm not gonna use. So, okay, we got a bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, so let's go do that. Even if we just do a little mini spring clean tonight, that would be perfect. And we have spoken to everyone already. So that's good. Even if I might do one more little um purge and see if i can pull a few more items out and do one more trip to nooks and then i can pop some stuff away as well like the christmas tree and stuff four thousand bells we just made from that there we go four thousand bells just sitting in our wardrobe doing nothing so i have a feeling anything i get rid of i honestly don't think i'll miss being perfectly honest you never know in the future episodes there might be something i want to put back there but i have a feeling 90 90 95 percent of the things i get rid of tonight I will never look for again. Any items in here? It's kind of nice. It does look a little cluttered though. Don't know if I like the blender there, but oh, it's kind of nice in here actually. It's quite cute. Yeah, it's quite cute. Okay, we'll leave the kitchen for now. I do want to pop in all around the rooms and just uh, just see. See, I can't even get into the bathroom, like barely. This is a problem. Okay, never mind. We'll have to come back for the bathroom. <laughs> Because we can't get in there right now. Let's take a quick look in the bedroom. Oh, Christmas tree, you gotta come out. Um, yeah, this is cute. Do I like the floor? There's something I'm not sure about. I don't know if it's the wall or the floor. But other than that, I like it, I think. Yeah, it's very, it is very cute, actually. I do like it. I feel like it is missing something. I can't really place what that is. There's also something, whether it's the wall or the floor, I'm not sure. So I might... I'll put a pin in that to possibly keep an eye out for something different. Other Christmas tree, there you are. Let's uh, let's look for some more items. Okay, I have a couple more items. I have the rose shirt. I think I remember. Yeah, no, it's kind of cute, but I don't know if I'll wear it. Honestly, it just uh, maybe the colors are a bit harsh or something. Groovy wall is yeah, no, that's not that's not going to be used. So groovy wall is gone. Snowboard, it's cool. Again, perfect example of a cool item that I'm just not going to put anywhere. So computer again, I know. Every house has to have a computer, but realistically, it's we're not going to use it. <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to use it and it's probably not going to be uh, yeah, used. Microwave is gone and then this was the classic clock. So we do already have a clock. I'm trying to decide which one I like more. So we have this, uh, I don't know what, I forget, is it the grandfather clock or what? It, whatever it is. But I think I will get rid of, uh, I will get rid of... Hmm, which one do I prefer is the question. I think this one has kind of a cooler design but I like the color of this one. Like I prefer the that wood color instead of this. I don't know. The warmer wood tone might actually suit the room more since we have a few other, like the, that wardrobe, that table, the fireplace. I feel like maybe this wood suits it better. I don't know, but then I do really like this clock. It's been there for a long time, so. I uh, can't decide, can't decide which one to keep. Antique clock, there we go. You know what, I'm gonna keep the classic clock because I like the color better. I think it suits the room a bit more and if I have a change of heart, I'll just reorder another antique clock, but let's uh, let's sell it. I, I'm gonna have a quick look upstairs and see if any of these floorings can go because I was looking through what I already have and uh, I think I just see if there's any duplicates as well. Palace tile checkered tile. Let me just see. What's the checkered tile? Just see if this is gonna be something I might use. It's cool, but probably not. Probably not. We'll sell it. Hey, Kabuki wants to talk. Hey, Lily. I just got a letter from a friend of mine. You want to see it? Dear Kabuki, I love winter and you from Matty. I sent that like two months ago. How was it? It makes you feel kind of queasy, right? But you know, I think that's why I like what I liked best about it. Okay. Well, that reminds me. I have gotten a couple of reactions. This is something that I have never even addressed at all in this uh, in this game. But the re the whole reaction thing, I actually, d I have been um, talking to, is it Dr. Shrunk or whatever his name is? So I have actually, I, I realized what that is recently, <laughs> only after playing New Horizons. And now I know what it is. So I have been trying to actually get these. So these are a few of the reactions. Um, so we have that one, which is adorable. And then we have this one, which I should use these in thumbnails because these are actually really cute. So actually, if I'm gonna grab a thumbnail, 
from for this video. I'm gonna go outside Mint's house and do the little like heart eye thing. <laughs> and uh, that that'd be that'd be a good thumbnail for for this video. Okay, perfect. That's done. We'll see if that works. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and use those more because they are so cute and get more of them as well. Hey Nan, what's up? Hey kid, how's life? If you're not in a hurry, would you take a look at this? Young Nan, you always second guess yourself. Think of all the time you'd save if you stopped doubting yourself. The voice of reason. Oh my gosh, tell me about it. What do you think? It gave me a serious case of the warm fuzzies personally. Oh, Nan, so sweet. The reactions I've been meaning to mention as well. So there we go. I'm glad I remembered just now. So they're sold and uh, that was about 2,000 bells, close to 3,000 bells. So just by clearing out those few pieces of items <laughs> those few bits of items uh we made about like seven thousand bells which is kind of a lot i suppose when you think about it so before i wrap this episode up i'm just gonna pop the christmas tree and all the stuff away since we have a little bit of space now okay christmas stuff you gotta go so it's basically two trees and the snowman is that it was there a tree upstairs i forgot to look did i put a tree up here i think i was going to and then i didn't I think that's what happened. Now I can actually walk in the bathroom, see if there's anything, anything that we can get. Oh, this is kind of cute. <laughs> I actually kind of like this. <laughs> the urinal, I'm not so sure, but I suppose Matty does live here, so I suppose, you know, help for him. <laughs> Maybe it's only fair. So yeah, I, I quite like the bathroom, I think. I think I like the bathroom. So we'll keep that as it is. All right, that's all done. So I'm gonna wrap this episode up. We've popped the Christmas stuff away. We did a little mini spring clean, got rid of a few items. So we do have some room in our um, closet wardrobe uh, for a few more items, but uh, I will be working on that very extensively soon <laughs> because I, I would like to get the house like decorated officially. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Biggest thing I'm excited about this episode is Mint moving in. We have a new dreamy villager that I think I'm gonna hang on to. So please in the comments, let me know if you love Mint and you are excited for her to be living in home now. I feel like she belongs. So I'm so excited. I literally, I wish, I, I wish you guys saw my reaction to uh, to me seeing that she'd moved in. Um, I wasn't recording, but I literally got so excited. I was like, yes, Mint is adorable. So yay for that. But thank you so much for watching this episode all the way through. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And a special shout out and thank you to my members, Meow, Maddie, and Yorick. Thank you guys so much for being members and supporting the channel. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much again. I will see you soon again in another video. Slanga fall, goodbye.